piece of bubble gum. Oh! From 1988. I don't think anyone has eaten the gum from Ninja Turtles because it looks so bad. Really? Um, uh, Cannon opened uh, the Ninja Turtles and made a joke about it looking like an old woman's vagina. Oh my god, that looks so disgusting! That's the yuckiest one I've seen! I've seen older eating. Oh my god, dude, it was like moldy! It tastes like uh, that was chalk. Mo that was so yucky! It tastes like chalk. It's over 30. I mean, there's nothing more it's appropriate than to be in front of the fucking dumpster when you're it's eating that old gum. It's over 30 years old. Here. Jesus Christ. And what does it say on the card? It says, and to get a bigger piece of the Let this guy come in your house and work on your wires. Do you know how much insulation I <laughs> eat it out of attics? You think this gum bothers me? It's still sealed up. I ripped it open. I'm not going to lie. Comedians open cards! Comedians opening cards, no coffee, and it's a Monday night down in Seabrook, New Hampshire at Bar 17 Grill. And I got the open mic. You, there's like three hosts? Yeah. And you're one of the three? I am, yes. And what is your name? I am Tommy Wires. I do... Tommy uh, Wires? Because you do electric. That is correct. Yes! That is correct. I'm the dumb electrician, everybody. Thank so, you. probably not his real name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> all right, though. We don't need to know that. How so. long have you been doing comedy? I've been doing comedy for two and a half years, to be exact. Nice. And how long has this open mic been going on? Open mic's been open since February. It's been great. We have 10 people on a week. They sign up. They come down. New Newbies. Older people. Uh, experienced comedians. And it's you put their name time. on a wheel and you spin it. You never yeah, know what you're going to so, get. Yeah. Sometimes you give prizes and stuff That's out. right. That's right. So we have, uh, it's hosted by Real and No Reels, which is my podcast. Oh. Me and my two partners. Yeah, Mr. I Real. saw a video with you guys, the Real or No Reels yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so we do it. We like to give back. We want to see new people come up in here and have a place to have a space to do that. It's great stuff. This is the Great. longest promo ever. Let's get the cards. <laughs> all right, so I got all, all right. these cards. I don't even know. So we got a dumpster. We're in oh. the middle of a uh, parking lot. We got it all set up on a dumpster. And as he was laying it out, I really came to the liking of the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, well, I mean, they were created in Dover, New Hampshire. Right? You know what I'm saying? I'm old enough to remember the originals. This is 1988, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was the year after I graduated high school. All right, so I guess I'm opening this up. Two guys. We have a piece of bubble gum. Oh! From 1988. I don't think anyone has eaten the gum from Ninja Turtles because it looks so bad. Really? Um, uh, Cannon opened uh, the Ninja Turtles and made a joke about it looking like an old woman's vagina. Oh, oh there's gum. Oh! What? There is because it's gum. an older pack. You got it's probably gum. tops. I did. Get Yours are probably gum. my oh, the There is not and a it's just chance in this earth that I eat this gum. <laughs> it looks like it came out of an old lady's coffin. That is fucking brutal. old lady's coffin. Yeah, that's a actually, vagina. Is that a vagina reference? This does look like an old vagina. Oh, it's like brown. Look at that pink oh on the inside god. and brown around the ridges. Just how I like it. Oh my god, that looks so disgusting. That's the yuckiest one I've seen. I've seen older eating. Oh my god, dude, it was like moldy. It tastes like uh, that was chalk. this mold. That was so yucky. It tastes like chalk. It's over thirty. I mean, there's nothing more it's appropriate over, than to be in front of the fucking dumpster when you're eating that old gum. It's over 30 years old. Here. Jesus Christ. And what does it say on the card? It says, and to get a bigger piece of the Let this guy come in your house and work on your wires. Do you know how much insulation I <laughs> eat it out of attics? You think this gum bothers me? It's still sealed up. I ripped it open. I'm not going to lie. It's all good. Oh, my God. What do we got in here? Oh. Expired food is not a freaking problem in your world. It's liquid. It's liquid. It's not even a solid. It turns straight into a oh, liquid. Oh, it doesn't rain. Mm. All right, so what, so do, what got? do you got? I don't know. Oh, zapped. Oh, it's cool with those lines, those colors. What's that? Oh, is that from the gum or is that the weird color? What's zapped. That? Wow. That's an electrician. That's fa oh, it's perfect for you. I love it. That's I'm crazy. Closing, I'm closing on that. You're stopping on that. Oh, I'm you closing gotta, on that. You got to sign one card. There's probably zapped. a sticker in there. Yeah, you got to sign that zapped one. Zapped is yours, dude. Oh my god, that's this, awesome. This couldn't have, that we couldn't have, we couldn't have wrote this any better. I know. Isn't it whack how it just works? This is fantastic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my god, Tommy Wires, and this is a great mic. It's it's been filling up. Oh, like last last week was crazy. Uh, Redbeard's out here all the time now. Yeah, More now, people are yeah. coming all the time. This mic is freaking going nuts, man. This guy right here is the man. Well, I don't Give know. Give it up for him. Does some great comedy. Come down here, Seabrook, New Hampshire, if you're in the area. If you get to know me, maybe I'll dress as a lady. I appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you, man. This is awesome. Go see live stuff because that's where it's happening. It's comedians opening cards, no coffee, and we're up a tree. There's the ocean. 
up a tree, turn this off, go do stuff. Dave Bacon, everybody. Hello. Uh, I think yesterday for my, I was like, uh, it's so hard to freaking uh, be cool in your kids' eyes. I got two daughters, one's 21, one's 23. I was in Boston with her. It's like Pride Week. She's like one of those letters. Sometimes I think it's uh, the L. Sometimes she tells me she's Pan. I don't know. Anywho, I do a freaking poetry mic, and there's like lesbian people there and stuff. So she's at this like lesbian concert, and I'm going to pick her up, and these other people come out, and I recognize them from the other mic, and they're her age, and I'm so I get out of my car, and I'm talking to these people who are her age, seeing her lesbian freaking concert music, and so when she comes out, she like can't believe, you know, and it was just. God, it was so fucking cool in her eyes. Anyway, sorry. It's not a joke. But I just had to... Whatever. Uh, when I was younger, I was embarrassed about being adopted. But now it gives me a lot of street cred. Oh, you did time in prison? Big deal. Not only was I institutionalized at birth, but I too was innocent. Even more so, yet. I did five months solitaire behind the bars, just hanging in the crib, hitting the bottle multiple times a day. Plus, later, I could have relations with my new mom or dad. Yeah, I mowed the lawn, now I'm gonna plow you. We're not related. Wake up. I'm starting the show, you know, so I'm gonna start with a clean joke like that. I got two names, two birth certificates, two moms, two dads, but I never get the fuck the Doubleman twins. What the hell? <laughs> Only some of you remember the Doubleman twins. When I was younger, all the bros called me sissy. Now the sissies call me sis. I'm not your bro, I'm not your sis, but if you're lucky, I'll let you, I'll let you call me daddy. <laughs> they say the band playing, playing music while the Titanic was sinking were heroic. I don't feel the same way about Taylor Swift. We're sinking. Water's rising. There seems to be a lot of conservatives who are against gender reassignment surgery for teens. But they are fine with assigning all baby foreskins to the trash bin. And then... Once the most pleasurable part on the male has been removed, they seem surprised some dudes move on to number two. Is that anal sex joke? Again, you know, welcome to the open mic. When I started driving, uh, I didn't realize that the speed limit was a bottom, not a top, like some of you guys. She knows what I'm talking about. New Hampshire's motto is live free or die, but it should be freedom. We think we're free, so we're dumb. Because, like, you're already attached to your chair. If you go to the bathroom and come back and someone's sitting there, you'll be, like, all frustrated. You're not fucking free. You're wearing clothes. Right? I mean, when you have, if you have a kid, the first thing, the baby, the baby doesn't want to wear any clothes, and we all walk around with them, and then we act like we're free. We're not. Oh, the mask. You're fucking wearing, you're wearing pants. Have you noticed older guys have a man cave while younger guys have a goon room? Whatever the name, similar things happen in both. It's masturbating, that's, that's that joke. I don't understand getting tattoos because 99% of the time you're making yourself more asymmetrical. Like, I'm too pretty. No, you're not. Beauty is, you know, based on symmetry. So why don't you fucking match up? Why would you go... Like you're, it's, duh. Okay, there we go. Finally, I get the fucking light. Uh, uh, let's see. I can just, just keep spinning these for a minute. Uh, I don't think I have any. These are all too long. Um, Tip tock. So, you know, fucking uh, thank the three guys who do this mic. Sean. Jay, Roy, Roy. and uh, yeah. Tommy, Roy. because this fucking yeah. thing is growing and growing, and this is my chief freaking applause at the end, so thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you, everybody.
Oh, that was so awesome. Okay, Thank thanks, you so Dave. Much.